<laughs> I woke up this morning to the worst Charlie horse leg muscle cramp ever. A lovely way to welcome me into my third trimester. I remember being pregnant with Micaiah, getting those like leg muscle cramps. I've never experienced them worse than in pregnancy and they were pretty painful with Micaiah. And then I think I ended up taking more magnesium or something and then that helped it out. I'm already taking magnesium, but this time around, They've just started back again, like in the last week. That might have been like my third one in maybe two weeks. But I think my friend mentioned a magnesium spray that you can spray right on your legs. So I might try that, but that was not a nice way to wake up. <laughs> I saw this on a YouTube video somewhere where they really liked having this next to their bed at night. So when you're doing like a night feeding, you don't need to turn your lamp on. When I was doing night feedings, I would stand up and open the bathroom door so like a little bit of light would come in. That's probably nice, probably not too bright either. Got it off Amazon. I feel like that's a really nice like dim light for you to turn on next to your bed. That'll be really good. And it's also like you can carry it around anywhere. I'm gonna read for a little bit before Makaya wakes up. She is like starting to move a little bit and then it looks like she goes back to sleep and then she'll move, so she'll probably be up soon. Okay, I am gonna leave in about five minutes. I have my glucose test today. Basically, for a glucose test, you have to take this really sugary drink. They draw your blood and it's to test for gestational diabetes. When I did it with my first pregnancy with Makaya, it made me feel terrible. It's so sugary. Yeah, I just remember feeling sick like afterwards. Maybe the rest of the day, I just like felt so gross. So hopefully it goes well. Anyway, I'm gonna leave in a couple minutes to go to that. So I'm just getting like a little bit more ready. I like to get ready before my guy wakes up because I, I don't know why I just like hate trying to find the time or like it's just easier for me to do it before she's awake and I'm like good and ready for the day. But sometimes I'll like only do a little bit and then if I need to go somewhere, then I'll come back and like finish up. Okay. Okay, I'm leaving now. When they were telling me that this was this appointment was coming up, they gave me an option this time to do the fresh test, which non-GMO, gluten-free, natural, no additives. It's a mint and lemonade flavor. I'm really excited to do this one because the last one I did was when I lived in Florida and they like gave me a bottle of like mini Gatorade pretty much to drink and it was, ugh, it just like did not make me feel good. So hopefully this one is a bit better. Anyway, I'm going to drive, put on an audiobook. I'm currently listening to a Lisa Jewell book called The Family Upstairs. So I'm gonna listen to that. Anyway, I will keep you updated. It's gonna be a long appointment because I have to drink. I have to drink the drink first and then have my regular checkup appointment and then do the blood test like an hour later. So it's gonna be a long appointment. So I'm bringing my Kindle. So I have something to do as I'm waiting for, for everything. Here I go. I have five minutes to drink it. it doesn't smell bad, honestly. Gosh, that's way better. It's honestly not bad. All right, I'm all done. <sighs> that was probably, I was there for about an hour and a half total. Sorry, I'm out of breath. I had to walk up a hill to get back to my car. It went totally fine. Such a better experience than the first time. I had the first one done when I was in Florida. That's when I drank the regular drink. And then even memories of the blood test like was worse. But the lady who drew my blood has drawn it before and she does the best blood draws. Sounds weird, but I never feel anything. Like usually I'm just like kind of waiting there, like waiting for the prick to like happen. And I'm always like, Whoa. It's never as bad as like it is in your mind, but anyway, this lady, seriously, it never hurts and it was so quick, so good. Anyway, she said I should hear back tonight, like I should get the results tonight, which is amazing. I really hope everything goes well and that I pass the test. Anyway, I got a little bit of reading done, which was nice. Anyway, I'm gonna head back home, see my baby. Yeah, that went really well. I'm like so relieved. Gonna listen to the audio book again as I drive home. Okay, Makari is down for a nap and I'm going to get some stuff together for one of my very close friends shower, baby shower on the weekend. So our babies are due 
a few weeks apart. We're both having boys. We're so excited. It's like they're gonna grow up being little besties. So anyway, one of the things that I'm helping out with is another friend is setting up a little onesie decorating station. There's gonna be a bunch of onesies and then a bunch of iron-on patches and we're all we can all like make a onesie for the little baby. So I printed this little sign off of Etsy and then I'm just gonna put it in a frame. So I got this frame off Amazon, which should be cute. Hopefully it fits. Sometimes when I print from Walgreens, it prints too big. I don't know why. It's like their paper is slightly too big. This is really nice though. This is the frame. So it can just sit back like that. Okay, I really, it's not gonna fit. Actually it might fit. All right, let's try it out. Okay, this is serious. It comes with gloves. Let's just put them on for fun. I guess that'll be nice then. It's like less fingerprints. Remove the small adhesive pack. Who knew this was going to be so technical? Okay. It's all done. Turned out very cute. So now that is all ready to go. Now I'm gonna see if all the gifts fit in this bag. I got these, like a big pack of these off Amazon because I just thought it would be really helpful to have gift bags ready instead of like every time you have a gift and you need to go out and get one. Now we just have kind of like a gift wrap box. And so we have wrapping paper and these bags, they've really come in handy. So I'm just gonna see if everything will fit inside here and then I might like try to draw or paint something on the front, make it a little bit more special. I already don't think that's gonna fit. It's not. I guess it'll work if I can wrap the stuff individually and then put them all in the bag. Anyway, I'll show you what I got her. First thing is this car mirror. We have this exact one with Micaiah and it's been so helpful to be able to like see her while we're driving. So I really like that. I got her this bath thermometer. I also have this exact one. So I know it works well. This is also really helpful just to make sure that you're not making the bath too hot. I've been using it too when I have a bath in my pregnancy because I make it pretty cool. I don't make it like that hot at all. So this is just helpful to know like not to go above a certain temperature. Then I got her some breast milk storage bags. This is the brand that I really liked. I used a few. I really, I just used any. Got her some of these. And then I'm so excited about this. I don't think I will fully show you only because I got this really cute little like sweatpant set from Zara and for an extra few dollars, you can get it engraved. Oh, oh my gosh, not engraved. They embroider. So I got his name embroidered, but I don't know if she's announced the name and I don't want to be the one to announce it. So I'm just going to cover it up just in case, but I think she'll really like this. And once we fully 100% know our baby boy's name, I'll get him a matching one and then they'll have little matching sets. So I'm really excited to give that to her. Part of the invitation said like, instead of a car, Card, please bring a book. I accidentally still got a card, but that's okay. The book that I got was Who Sang the First Song? There is a song that goes along to this that is really pretty. Makaya loves to sing it, but basically it goes through like, like who sang the first song in the whole world, pretty much. Like, did the waves make a song as they crashed to the shore or was it the whales or the lion's first roar? It's really cute. But then it basically says that when God created the world, he um, sang his song into everything. When God made the earth, he decided to sing and he wrote his song into everything. And then it says, God's song says you're good, you are wonderfully made. I'll never stop loving you all of your days. I want you to sing with your life and your voice. I created the earth to make a joyful noise. Every heart and everything was born with a song. It was made to sing. It's such a sweet book. So hopefully they don't have it. Yeah, I think they'll like it. They are also a pretty musical family. And then the last thing is the card. And I just feel like if you're a parent, this one tugged on my heartstrings. It's just a little yellow card. It says, once those little fingers curl around your own, your world is never quite the same. And it's very true. Anyway, I'm gonna try and put all of this together. Maybe try and paint this. So at the same time that I got these like bulk bags, I also got bulk tissue paper. This also is such a handy purchase if you go to a lot of events or I don't know, just handy to have when you have Christmas and birthdays and all of that. So I'm going to see. I think it should look okay if I wrap all of these. I'm just wondering if I should do like maybe some different blues could look nice. I have a couple different colors of blue and then that way they're all wrapped but can still fit in this bag. <laughs>
Sorry if I have food in my teeth, I'm just eating some lunch. Makaira and Gabe are outside playing like in this big tub of water. It's very cute, but I got my glucose results. So <laughs> I hope view results. I think this is good. It doesn't even say like pass or anything. It just tells me the number and then the normal. That's good. Oh, oh my gosh, what a relief. That's just like one more thing out of the way. That's like good to go. Very good. Anyway, they're playing so cute. They're playing outside in the water. I got like cups, like different mixing, like baking utensils that she, she loves to like mix water. Some toys, like a rubber ducky and stuff. <laughs> so cute. Now that I am officially in my third trimester, I thought I would share with you my checklist of stuff that I still need to get done. It's quite a lot. I saw a few of these, like some videos on YouTube that are all about like checklists and I watched them and it was so helpful for me to like be able to write. Like I took a lot from all the videos that I watched and some stuff that I forgot about. And so it's good that I now have this list written down of like stuff I can kind of physically check off. Anyway, it's quite a lot. So I'm not going to like go into every single one. I'm just going to read them. Number one, take a birthing class. Class. Also like revisit my sleeping course, my taking care of babies course and my um, birthing course that I got online. Get all the baby items out from storage. So the little like love every baby mat, bouncer, the mummeroo, all of that needs to come and like be put in place. Gabe to get the contraction app. I have it on my phone, but I thought it might be helpful for him to have it on his phone too. Set up a new profile on the baby app that I already have that tracks like nursing and sleep and that sort of thing. Book maternity photos. I would really like to do that. Start on a baby book, like just start going through and filling out like the pregnancy part of the book. Sanitize all the baby stuff, bottles, pump, dummies, everything, wash all the clothing, all the sheets, burp cloths, bibs, etc. Decorate and organize the nursery. This one I badly want to do, but I also don't want to give up our guest room yet. So we'll see what happens, but I really desperately want to be setting stuff up. Reorganize the diaper bag that we have to fit some newborn stuff in it, like put some newborn nappies and etc. in there. My plan isn't to use the diaper bag a lot, but I'll just see having two kids, maybe the diaper bag will still be helpful. Um, so we'll see. I just want to like reorganize that bag just in case. Install the baby car seat base in the car so it's ready to go and get the car seat out of storage. Like just have it out and ready. That one probably won't be like closer towards my due date, but it won't hurt to like have it out and ready to go. Install an another car seat mirror, practice using the baby carrier. So some of our friends got us a really nice baby carrier for our baby shower. I am so grateful and excited to learn how to use it. And just so many of my friends are like, this one is the easiest one to use. So I'm really excited and I'm gonna practice. Like, I don't know if Makai might be too big, but I might need to practice with like some dolls or something, just like to get the hang of doing it by myself. Set up a bassinet in this room, make a postpartum recovery basket, so it might stay in my bathroom or it might like travel around the different bathrooms. Basically pads, a peri bottle, the spray, the witch hazel spray. Oh my gosh, that felt so calming last time. The ice pads, like all of that just in a basket. Prep meals. We didn't do this last time and I would like to, I have some saved on Instagram. I'd like to prep or try to prep. Some breakfast stuff, some snacks for Makaya. Stock up on pantry items. I think that's a really good idea. I need to write out my labor and delivery plan and also like what's happening to Makaya and Milo. My mom is coming to town, but if anything happens before she gets here, we need to make another plan in place. But then also for the time that she is here with Makai and Milo, I want to write out everything. She pretty much knows Makai's daily schedule and stuff that she likes to eat anyway, but like how much food to give Milo. Yeah, like different stuff about Makai. Um, I think will be really helpful to have all of that written out. Write a list of stuff that I need to pack for my hospital bag and then also pack the hospital bag. Create a labor playlist. I don't think I had one of these last time. I think I I just played music like from a random playlist. I'm thinking about finding a photographer. I need to ask Gabe and see if he thinks it's a good idea to like have someone come and meet us and photograph the birth. I also want the whole thing filmed just on our camcorder. I don't like need a really professional video, but definitely want someone who can just like hold the camcorder at all times. Organize a diaper caddy for the baby. So nappies, wipes, creams, anything that will also probably go room to room with us. Getting out all of my pump parts, cleaning. Um, I think I need to replace some of my pump parts. So I just need to like get all of that clean and sanitized 
all together and then put that in like another basket I think like to just house everything house the charger we didn't really have like a storage space for it last time and so they were kind of like all over the place I think it'd be helpful to have just a bunch of baskets one being a pump basket prepare a small postpartum wardrobe I thought this was a really good idea just going through and picking out a few comfy pieces from my wardrobe that are like a little loose fitting and comfy just for like the first couple weeks just so I'm like not just in PJs every day and kind of like just nice lounge wear but probably setting them aside to like a different spot so I know this is like my postpartum wardrobe I want to get a big like button down sleep shirt that's like easy to lounge in and also like easy to unbutton to breastfeed. I want to make a list of postpartum essentials that I don't have yet. So anything on my registry that I still need to buy, any like postpartum stuff that will help me still softness. And I also want to get something to make a footprint like little print. In Australia they did it like there was someone who came to the room and offered to do it for us and it was really cute and it's like on a little card of Makaya's foot. I think she was maybe a day old so I want to get that and probably take it with us um, so we can do it or like as soon as we get home we can do it too. Anyway that is my list. I need to quickly go and help Gabe with Makaya really quick. It's a little bit later. Don't mind my hair. I was in the shower with Makaya, but she's down for the night. It's 8 p.m. I'm gonna try and do a gloss on my hair. Well, I'm gonna get Gabe to help me. My body feels like it is broken. Like walking around, I'm, I have so much back pain. Even sitting up like this, not to complain, but anyway, it's hurting a lot. Like trying to walk around and clean up tonight, I was like, oh, I feel like I need to get in the bath for a little bit or like something to ease my back pain. It's really bad, but I've been meaning to share this pillow in case anyone else is pregnant and looking for a different pregnancy pillow. My first pregnancy, I used like the U-shaped pillow and that was fine for me, but this time around, I don't know, it was like hurting my neck and my back more. So I stuck with my regular pillows and found this on Amazon and it took me like a couple nights to get used to it, but now it helps me so much. So it's this and it um, velcros so you can make it like wider or closer together but you basically like lay here with your belly on one side and then your back on the other so it gives like a nice support anyway i just got this off amazon and it's been really good if you are looking for something different i really want to do this and try it out but i also like badly want to be laying in bed so i got this recently in a pr package I wanted to try it out i've liked dp hughes products in the past. It's a light brown color so I'm not sure how much it will do to my hair because I have like quite dark hair but it's a hair color cream. It's demi permanent so it washes out. It says it lasts up to 16 washes. It says it boosts multi-dimensional color and shine. Hair feels soft, nourish and conditioned. Tones and blends grays. 20 minute processing. Anyway, it sounds good. I thought I may as well give it a try because I need to wash my hair uh, before the weekend anyway. So I'm going to get Gabe to help me. <laughs> oh, there's a video tutorial. That's cute. The packaging is cool too because it flattens and there's the instructions but then you can also like put it all on top so you don't make a mess anyway apply to clean damp hair what so i need to get in the shower i was already in the shower because makaya loves going in the shower that means i'm gonna be in the shower three times okay so i need to go wet my hair i need clean damp hair so I need to wash my hair first and then get back in to wash it out. Okay, never mind. I'll be back after I wash my hair. Okay, it's Sunday and I just thought I'd give you an update on my hair. It actually turned out really nice. The color was light brown, so I wasn't sure how much of a difference it would make, but I can tell it's like definitely put a nice like kind of gloss over it has made it look a little bit healthier I wouldn't say it's like dyed and over any grays or anything But I think it has like toned a little bit because my like entire color in general is kind of all more Cohesive if that makes sense. So I just thought I'd show I really like it I think it turned out nice and just like a nice little at-home refresh mm -hmm. 